Hi, my name is Robin Wong and in this video I want to share some tips on using exposure compensation with your Olympus OMD camera. Let's do this! Basically, this video is made in response to a comment by Walter requesting me to share how I use exposure compensation on my Olympus OMD cameras. Before I can share my tips and tricks, it is very important that we understand how the exposure compensation works. Exposure simply refers to the amount of light that is captured by the camera. There are two physical ways to control real amount of light that comes into the camera aperture and shutter speed. I've made a video to explain aperture and shutter speed. I'll put the link to the video up here. Basically, aperture and shutter speed both affect exposure. When you are shooting with your Olympus OMD camera on P, A or S modes, program aperture parity or shutter parity mode, you can adjust the exposure compensation by turning the rear command dial. You can increase or decrease the exposure, which will result in brighter or darker corresponding images. Technically, to me, I feel that exposure compensation is my best friend. I don't generally shoot in full manual mode unless I'm in a situation where the lighting doesn't change and my subject doesn't move, then I don't mind shooting in full manual mode. But in most situations, I'm constantly on the move, my subject doesn't stay still, the lighting changes from location to location. I don't want to compute both the aperture and shutter speed all the time. There are two separate parameters. I don't have enough brain power to calculate everything real time. On top of that, I have to consider about composition, lighting, I have to look at the decisive moment and the expressions on my portraits. There are just dozens and dozens of other more important things that will make or break the shot. So I generally just leave the aperture or shutter speed controls to the camera. I shoot with either aperture parity or shutter speed parity. So if I shoot with aperture parity, I control the F number while the camera will control the shutter speed. The camera will generally give me the right exposure in the situation where it is not the exposure that I want, that's when I use the exposure compensation to tell the camera, hey, I need it a little bit brighter or I want need it a little bit darker. And it's as simple as that. And here are some important tips on using the exposure compensation on your Olympus OMV camera. Tip number one, the exposure compensation on camera is not the same as the exposure compensation on post-processing software. Some people came to me, hey Robin, I just shoot everything in RAW, I don't care about the exposure compensation adjustment, what I shoot, I can just adjust it later in post-processing with no consequences. No, there will be consequences because when you adjust the exposure compensation in camera, you're actually manipulating the light that comes into the camera camera, you're capturing real amount of light. And once that is already captured, you cannot add or minus the amount of light on the pixels during post-processing. That is just software editing. And the more you edit, the more you stretch the image, the more you will destroy the image quality. It is very important that you use exposure compensation during your actual shooting to get the images as close to the exposure that you want and you do minimal post-processing later. Tip number two, you can use exposure compensation when you're shooting in full manual mode. In the situation where you have to fix the aperture and shutter speed, say you want to fix the f1.8 to get the blurry background, in shutter speed, you need to maintain it one over 200th of a second to make sure that there is no movement or you want to freeze your subject. Then the lighting changes and you don't want to compute the ISO for the changes of the lighting. So you set the ISO to auto but you need some adjustments so that's where the exposure compensation comes in where it will adjust the ISO to correspond to the exposure that you want. To use exposure compensation while shooting in full manual mode, you need to enable the ISO auto for manual mode. To do that, go to menu, under the gear, go to E for exposure, under E1, find ISO auto, make sure this is set to 
O, not just P and S. Make sure O is enabled. Once this is activated, when you're shooting in M mode, you should be able to get ISO auto. In ISO auto, now you can hit the exposure compensation button and you can adjust the exposure compensation as you wish. It is as simple as that. Tip number three, the limit of the live exposure simulation is plus and minus three EV. This is very important because a lot of people are relying on the live view simulation. They look at the image as they compose and as adjust the exposure compensation. If it's bright enough, then they decided, okay, this is what I want. Or if it's dark enough, this is what they get. But what you see is what you get, that live exposure simulation has a limit, and the limit is at the plus three EV or minus three EV. If you look at your camera, you can actually go beyond plus and minus three EV. You can go up to plus five EV adjustments in your exposure compensation or minus five EV adjustments. Just bear in mind that anything more than plus three or less than minus three, that exposure will not be simulated on your screen or your electronic viewfinder. Just a quick and simple demonstration of the limit of the live exposure simulation. We start with uh, zero exposure compensation and we go to plus three, which is the limit. Uh, if I go beyond this, 3.3, 3.7, you can see that the simulation doesn't change. The maximum of the exposure compensation is plus five. If I take a photograph now, it will be different from what is being previewed. This is the image that is taken and this is the simulation. The limit was at plus three. Tip number four, you can link the exposure compensation adjustment for the camera and flash control. By default, the exposure compensation on camera only works for the aperture and shutter speed. It doesn't affect the flash control. And the exposure compensation for flash will only affect the flash power. It will not adjust the camera. To link the flash and the camera exposure compensation settings, go to menu under the gear, go to F, F for flash settings. Under F, you can see that there is these two uh, exposure compensation signs. If you go to info, it says, it says when on, exposure compensation value will be added to flash compensation value. So you can turn this on. So now your flash compensation plus the camera compensation, the settings are linked. And finally, tip number five, exposure shift. If you find yourself always increasing or decreasing the exposure compensation, say you find yourself 90% of the time shooting at minus one or minus 0.7 EV, it will make more sense if you set this by default, you can go into the camera and customize it so that that will be your base for your balance exposure, even without doing any adjustments to begin with. To find the exposure shift, go to menu. Under the gear, we find E for exposure. It's E3. Find the exposure shift. Then from here, you can further customize the default exposure that you want. Either you want a minus or plus the exposure as your baseline. That's all I have to share about the exposure compensation on the Olympus OMD camera. If you found any of these tips useful, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal account. I'll put the links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution can go a long way and help me to produce similar content and publish them right here. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and I'll definitely see you again in the next next one. Until then, please go out and take more photographs. Stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.